أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم ينفروا خفافا وثقالا وجاهدوا بأموالكم وأنفسكم في سبيل الله ذلكم خير لكم إن كنتم تعلمون رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقطة من لساني يفقه قولي فالحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ثم ما بعد السلام عليكم قرآن ويكلي We're on the 10th juz now and this is سورة التوبة in ayah number 41 uh, This is a call of Allah to the Muslims who were actually heading out for the battle of Tabuk This is after Mecca was conquered and Islam had become a dominant force in Arabia and there was a threat of attack from the, from the, uh, the Roman Empire that the Prophet ﷺ basically issued what you can call a military draft of all the, you know, the, the, the Muslims to be ready for battle because the, the Roman armies were going to be 100,000 strong or even you know, 30,000 to 100,000 strong. So the Muslims, whatever resources they had, had to be put into you know, defending uh, Islam and, and moving forward and meeting the enemy. And in this case, there were some who felt, am I really even strong enough to fight? Because I've never been on battle in battle before. Am I good enough? Am I even going to be an asset on the battlefield, etc., etc.? And Allah gave universal words that aren't just beneficial for that context, but they are beneficial for anyone who wants to serve Allah's religion and protect Allah's religion and serve in any good cause under the shade of Islam forever and ever. And that is infiru khifafan wa thiqalan. March forward, light or heavy, light or heavy. Whether you have a lot of money or you don't have a lot of money. You have some heavy assets to offer, you have no assets to offer. Whether you have a lot of talent or you don't think you have any talent. Whether you're strong or you think you're weak. Whether you're knowledgeable or you think you're not that knowledgeable. Every one of you needs to march forward because you have something to offer Allah. Every one of us has to do a, an assessment of ourselves. In another place in the Quran, Allah says, قُلْ كُلُّ يَعْمَلُ عَلَى شَاكِلَتِهِ Tell them everyone should work in accordance with their predisposition. Allah created us with certain talents, certain abilities, certain powers. And we have to put those powers to work for the sake of Allah in some good way. And you have to do a real assessment of yourself. And you know, our religion isn't just about our own spirituality and our own concern, our own prayers and our own staying away from forbidden things and that's the end of it. No, 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 actually our religion is about taking care of yourself and then doing something more. Something that serves a, a cause beyond your own needs. Something that you're doing to build your Jannah by helping other people, by spreading this deen, by doing good to other people, by spreading charity, you know, by giving good advice, you know, by being a source, you're the reason the world is a better place. You did something that made the world a little better than what it is. That's, you have to do that. And how you can do that, you have to really figure out. And that's Allah's call, infiru khifafan wa thiqalan. March forward, light or heavy. Doesn't matter what you think you have, you have something to offer and you come forward and Allah Azza wa Jal will put you to use. I sincerely pray that Allah puts me and all of you to use for His deen. That He puts us to use for His deen. Because to be used for Allah's deen is the greatest honor we can have in this life. Barakallahu li wa lakum fil Qur'an al-Hakim wa nafa'ni wa iyaakum bil ayat wa dhikr al-Hakim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Qur'an weekly.